Today's American story that Bob Dotson this morning comes from Dallas, where a young boy named Tony has become everybody's child. He arrived in the U.S. from Ethiopia only a couple of months ago, speaking no English. But that hasn't stopped this 13-year-old from winning hearts along the way. Athletic potential. He always knew he was better at games than other kids. Sometimes life becomes a Hollywood version of what life should be. The boy with the twisted back, taking his team to their best season ever. If I had, like I said, if I had a hundred like him, I I can win it all. But the Conan's moment naturally comes with some drama. How far can you go down? His back is collapsing like a badly built house. We gotta take some of the house away first in order to reconstruct the house and to get his spine in better alignment. It is probably the most dangerous spine deformity surgery that we do. McConan suffers from congenital kyphosis. He was born with an S-shaped spine. Without surgery, the S will tighten until he is paralyzed. But his family cannot afford such an expensive operation. His father's a day laborer. He makes less than a dollar a day. In Ethiopia, neighbors brought the Conan to Rick Hodes, an American doctor living in Addis Ababa. Dr. Hodes called around and found that this hospital, Scottish Rite in Dallas, offered McConan the best opportunity for a normal life. More importantly, the hospital and its doctors agreed to do the operations for free. The doctor from Long Island has linked more than 40 kids who need major surgery with hospitals around the world. Ten are now living with him in Ethiopia. How do you keep from being overwhelmed? Uh, well, I am overwhelmed, but I'm just trying to help a few people along the way. With help from some strangers. Okay. Okay. The Romaner family in Dallas agreed to look after McConan while he recovers from his surgeries. It could take six months. What has McConan taught you and your family? So many things. He's really taught us to love each other more and not take each other for granted as much. He's also taught us that we too can venture out of our comfort zone and that there will be people all over the world for us as well. I mean, have fun with it, everyone. When McConan arrived this fall, he spoke no English, so the Romaners sent him to school with their own kids. And strips of paper. He showed a flair for art and a knack for making friends. How does a kid like McConan become everybody's child? His smile. When his face lights up, it's open to the whole world. And all you want to do is be there with him. The 13-year-old who loves games now faces the biggest contest of his life. We ask God for success and health. Amen. You just hold it down, it'll be fine. He's already had one surgery to stretch his spine and now faces another 14-hour operation to rebuild his back. Dr. Hodes flew over from Ethiopia to be by McConan's side. He brought along McConan's stepbrother, Dejene, who underwent a similar operation two years ago. This is how Dejene looked before his surgery and after with his rebuilt back. He will stay with McConan until he recovers. What did you tell him to make him feel better? I told him it's not going to hurt that much. Uh, it will hurt for the first one day or two and to be fine. Many hands have pushed McConan to this moment. They have worked hard to make the world as they wish it would be. Filled with Hollywood endings, like McConan's last soccer game before his surgeries. The boy with the twisted spine duped past some of the best players in the league and pounded toward the net. Yeah. Goal. Oh. He beat what had been the toughest team around. One, two, three. Oh. Perhaps he won for all the people who made this moment possible, who, like McConan, didn't let any handicap handicap them. For today, Bob Dotson, NBC News, with an American story in Dallas, Texas. Wow. McConan's second surgery is scheduled to take place in mid-December. We'll let you know how it goes.